What is up, everybody? This is Random Sparks, and we are back in Farming Simulator 15. Once again, we are on the Made in Germany map, American Edition. And where we left off, we were doing a bit of harvest. And what is the deal? Okay, I see. <laughs> I'm looking at our uh, chorus we have here, but it's doing what it's supposed to do. But um, yeah, we have our 9230 on chorus play here. And I'm going to let him do his thing. He's getting pretty cool there. Oats must be pretty high yielding, apparently. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to be operating our 7130 here. Uh, we have the small header on it. And I'm going to be uh, doing straw, laying down straw instead of uh, spreading it into chaff. So that's the plan there. And we do have our... Uh oh yeah, I was going to show you guys. I have tractor, uh, semi and a uh, hopper trailer. I did get a hopper converted, it is the corn husker, and I also bought a second uh, truck here. So now we have two of them, and we also have one hopper trailer, it's the corn husker trailer from 2013, and it is it is a nice trailer, so I'm glad I at least got th this one converted. And what is the deal with our tractor here? Okay, what are you trying to do? Set that to auto, don't I? Auto. There you go. That's what we wanted. I still had that set from uh, when I was doing some cutting in our alfalfa field, getting some silage from that. Okay, so let's get this rolling. Um, should be all ready to go. And yeah, we can we can leave that there. Actually, I'm gonna go check something else on our tractor here. I'm just gonna run through that tree. We can drive on at we'll have it at 85. I think that's where I want it. 85 is where I have this one, I believe. Yep. So we'll let that do its thing. Trying to be somewhat efficient here. Alright. So the plan is we'll do. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that, I just got tapped out. Um, that would be my computer maintenance program does its own thing and it decided to pick 3 o'clock today to do that. And yeah, let's get some lights on. How about that? So yeah, we're going to do a couple of headland uh, swaths around here. And then once we're done with that, then we'll do the back and forth rows. So yeah, we're going to be doing 59 as straw swaths as well as what field is that? 94, that's the other field we're doing straw swaths. And yeah, 64, I don't need that much straw, so we're just putting that down uh, as chaff there. But then, yeah, we'll be bailing this up into square bales and eventually picking that up. But yeah, I'm going to wait until after all of harvest before I do that. At least I'm going to try to <laughs> anyways. We'll see how that ends up going. I mean, I may do it before we even do corn. Yeah, I think I think I might actually do that. It just depends on what I feel like doing. It'll get a it'll give us a variety between the two points in harvest there. Oh, yep, you can see our trailer over there and truck. That's where I'm having these uh, tractors and grain carts hauled to for both fields 59 and 64. Since we're both doing oats there. I wonder what this looks like in there. I think it might just use wheat or barley texture, I imagine. Yeah, same with the header. I think that's using the wheat texture. And heck, the oats themselves look a lot like wheat. 
I don't think it's exactly the same. It's similar, but it does it does actually look like oats when you get up close to it. Oh, and there's our corn from last growing season. Didn't quite get those harvested or uh, cut down from when we were cultivating this field. Oh well, that's no big deal. I'll just get it next time around. That's if I do this one by hand, of course. Because course plate does not always do the best job, unfortunately. Mind you, I'm using it right now quite extensively, except for on this one combine here. But um, yeah, when you need it to do stuff, it'll it'll do it for the most part. But I think I was looking at our combine in field 64 over there, and it did miss just a little bit. I was expecting it to, so I think we're going to have to go back and do a little bit of that by hand. Just just whatever little bit it leaves behind. And yeah, that's no big deal, though. And we're going to need to be unloading here shortly. Yeah, we're already at 70%, so we should be making his way up to me. That uh, tractor and grain cart should be... Yep. He's making his way through the uncut oats. Unfortunately, that's one of the unrealistic parts of chorus play, is that it doesn't quite know that it's not supposed to drive there. That'd be a cool addition to chorus play if it has it intentionally avoid uncut crops. If you could have it set to to do that somehow, or you could have it set on or off, that'd be that'd be pretty cool. And I don't know if you can hear that, but some. People are going in and out of doors outside for whatever reason. I do not know why, but for the past like 10 minutes, door is slamming like constantly. It's weird. Oh geez, this thing unloads fast. That must have been because it's the modded one that they had it set faster. And that's no big deal. Stop there. Put that in and be on our way. Yeah, and like I was saying in the last episode, um, I think I want to get another set of medium sized headers because this is definitely the small set of headers for our case combines here. What is that? Is that guy following us still? No, he's not. Okay, I, was, I don't know why I was thinking he was. But yeah, I want to get another set of the medium-sized headers, which we have on our 9230 at the moment, so then I can run them. Because this thing can operate those larger headers. Uh, I just wanted to get the smaller ones for some smaller fields. Because there's... there We have some very small fields in this game. Obviously, field 59 here is not that small. But, um... I think we can still manage with these small ones here for now. But yeah, I do I do want to keep these small headers even if we do uh, get another set of medium ones just for those small fields we can keep these. Yeah, I do have a small corn header as well. And let's see, no, that one is not compatible for uh, sunflower. I mean it is, but it doesn't have the right texture. I did get a set of modded headers that does have sunflower textures on them. Um, so, yeah, I think that's the, uh, what was it, 12 row and 16 row that we can potentially get that have the uh, sunflower header or the sunflower textures or animations, whatever you want to call them. So, that would be very handy. And I'm not sure, but it also came with a set of headers like we're running right now. Um, so I don't know if they have the oat animation or not. I'd have to test that out. And we have some weeds, don't we? Those are those look like they're dead, though. For whatever reason, they are still standing. Hmm. Kind of odd. Oh well, stuff happens. <laughs> it is a game. And I was thinking I might want to run our rake 
to combine these swaths here, but um, they're not as far apart as I thought they were. So maybe I won't do that. Then again, maybe I will. We'll see. Because, yeah, they're, they're not uh, too far apart, yet they're not too close at the same time. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, you know, we'll see. I, I've just had this trend of winging it. Yet at the same time, I have been planning things out, so kind of 50-50 there. Yeah, I definitely planned out how I was doing, how I was going to harvest these two fields. Um, I did want to run this one by hand, even though field 64 is a little weirdly shaped. But because I'm not doing straw on that field, I figured course play would be the best option. And I missed a little bit there. Oh well. So yeah, if I'm running, if I'm going to be doing straw swaths, um, it, the combines can sort of make a mess with that if you set them on course play. And heck, same with the just spreading chaff, but that's not a big deal because you're not harvesting that. But I am going to be harvesting these swaths, so I wanted it to be fairly clean, so I'm not going every which way with the baler. But um, yeah, it's, it's no big deal either way, really. I'm just thinking of what is the most convenient here. up fairly shortly here once again this these oats they seem to be high yielding I did not actually expect that right up there with right there with wheat so yeah I think this is an alright alternative for wheat I mean that'd be my second option if I didn't want it to do oats well, I, I kinda wanna watch that Okay, so yeah, that, this was the tractor that was following our 9230. Alright, cool beans. So yeah, one of the issues I was having was converting that trailer. I did get it converted before, and a couple others, but for whatever reason, I was having just the darndest time trying to get them to uh, actually unload the contents inside of them. Um, like I could load, I could load it, but I couldn't unload it, which was quite odd. And I had that problem for every trailer I tried. And then out comes a hopper trailer mod. My David, okay, I don't want to bash on it, but it wasn't the best looking. It had this giant, in giant letters, grain written on the side. And I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> and it also had some red on it, and I wasn't a big fan of that. Um, so I just uh, snagged some of the triggers or whatnot, whatever you call those on that trailer and just copied it over to the corn husker and lo and behold it worked. So I'm happy about that. And yeah, if you're wanting to uh, download, not not the corn husker trailer, which, but you can, but you'd have to convert it yourself. Uh, but if you want to download that other hopper trailer I just mentioned, uh, you can find that on modhub.us. I'm pretty sure that's that's what it is. And then it's also on Mod Hoster, I believe. Now, it may be on some others, but I haven't really checked extensively. It seemed like it worked alright. It did have dynamic fill planes. It did not, I don't think it had a working tarp. I, did, I at least did not see that in any of the pictures or the video they had. Um, but other than that, it looked like an alright mod. Yeah, just the thing I didn't really like was that, yeah, it did have that giant letters grain written on the side. Mind you, that's that's not the worst thing, but uh, I just didn't think it was very pretty. Okay, let's see. I want to I wanna do uh, back and forth rows now. And man, just look at the dirty radius on this thing. It's insane. Okay, let's try to get this somewhat lined up. Yeah, it's not quite where I want it. Unfortunately, we can't see very far. How about that? We can try that. We'll see how it goes for us. Hopefully, it's where we want it. 
I mean, it's at least close, it looks like, so that's good. Yeah, I think this will work. It's nice when things just work out the way you want them to. Yeah, I mean, this is a fairly straight uh, side here. Not quite, not perfectly north and south, but uh, it's actually, yeah, it's got a slight angle on it, but not bad. So I say we go ahead and do a little bit of first person work here, might as well. And turn off that heads up display there. You know, I imagine if this was real life, it'd be maybe running in some somewhat high moisture considering the uh, fog we have out there. Um, but yeah, I did want to get started off early and just about every morning you start on Farming Simulator, it is going to be cloudy. Just about anyways. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get started early so we have the whole day for harvest. I don't want to waste any time. Yeah, I also had some uh, feeding chores to do. We had to get some water out to our livestock as well as some grain because that was all running low. Otherwise, for like silage and TMR, uh, they looked like they were doing fine. And then, yeah, I think their straw is fairly decent as well. So, yeah, I did that all before we got started on harvest here. Didn't take too long, but yeah, once I got their water filled up, I thought I was done, and then I go in and check the water level uh, that I filled it to, and then I see the grain is at zero, so I'm like, ah, oh, crap, I could have been more efficient if I would have realized that, because I would have run, uh, run two tractors at a time, one with the water tank, and then one with uh, the trailer hauling the grain, and just set up follow me to do that, but, uh... Oh well, that stuff happens. At least I did realize it, and I actually did check to see where the water filled to, otherwise I would have just gone on not knowing that they didn't have any grain to eat. Oh man, I do, I do find this harvest quite relaxing. I'm pretty sure I've said that in some of the last harvest videos, but um, I'm gonna say it again, and I'll probably say it in future episodes as well. Also, I am, uh, I did adjust my mic settings a little bit. Um, I turned the gain down, but then again, I did bring it closer to where I was sitting. Uh, I think it sounds a little cleaner, but um, you guys just let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to be running this for a few episodes until I actually post this video. So I, I hope it doesn't sound too bad. Um, so yeah, there may be a few episodes with crappy audio, audio, or a few episodes with excellent audio, so we'll see, just, um, once you guys see this video, which obviously you will be watching right now, but not right now on my time, but, uh, um, just, uh, let me know what you think, if I should keep it or go back to the way it was, um, I know I'm definitely not going back to, uh, where I started on the Great Smoky Mountains map because I was still using uh, my headset microphone for that before I got the Blue Snowball mic and let me tell you this thing works fantastic I'm quite happy with it it is a little bit somewhat big and it doesn't exact it doesn't have a mic stand I actually have kind of a MacGyver setup right now kinda kinda ghetto looking not gonna lie um, yeah but I know I do, I, I drum, I do, I um, enjoy music and I drum, I have a drum kit at home so I could, once I go back home for summer, uh, I could set up one of my cymbal stands, one of the extra ones I have laying around to use as the mic stand because it does have an extending boom, so we could use that, perhaps, because right now, um, my desk is under my lofted bed right now, so I have it hanging from that. And just just saying that and looking at it right now, it's it's pretty ghetto. It's it's this is a MacGyver setup right here. 
Like, I'm using a lanyard. Dang, this thing. Like, I, I can't believe just how ridiculous this looks. But um, it works. So that's what we're going with. And why is our tractor not coming to us now? Okay. There we go. Just had to reset him, I guess. You could call it a reset. Okay, why? Okay, that's only a little bit there. I thought that was gonna be a big chunk sitting there. No, it doesn't look like he's doing too bad. Okay, let's continue on now. Actually, I'm not going to do that quite yet. We'll see when it gets under or next to us there, and I'll wait till the end to do it. I think that would be best. Oh, I think I have my four-wheel drive turned off, or the front-wheel assist turned off on my tractors there, because it always resets. I don't like that. I actually would stay all the dang time. Okay, I'm gonna go turn those on, on our tractors here. And there we go. I think it's off on this one too, yes, yes it is. Okay. That is what we want there. Just love the turning radius on this track. On this, uh, this isn't a tractor. This is a combine. What am I talking about? I do love the turning radius on this combine. Um, it is a modded version of the 7130. They called it the 7130S for a reason. They put the S on the end of it. Um, you can find this modded version on Mod Hoster, I believe. Uh, just go into categories. It'll be under combine harvesters and then uh, case brand. And you can also find the D130, which has the setup on the left. It would be sitting right around here where you can adjust the uh, harvester speed or the uh, threshing speed, whatever you want to call it. And you have to get it just right, otherwise you will lose some grain. And it is, it's realistic. That's, I mean, you have to set it up so for crop to crop. You have a setting for corn, a setting for wheat, for barley canola, all the different crops, so, and that was actually a 5130, I believe, so that's on Mod Hoster as well, it's a lot like the uh, 2388 mod from uh, 2013, and I think that was even converted from 2012, I think, or 2011, sorry, there wasn't a 2012 FS, at least on computer anyways. Why is my header not going up? Oh, there we go. I have to actually select the header. The doy. And something else. Ah, excuse me. <laughs> something else about this mod. Um, it does have quite a bit faster acceleration, and I think it also has a higher top speed. I'm not a big fan of that because once you pick up the header, it it'll shoot right out. If you're not careful, like you will, you'll just take off. I, I'm sure I've done it already in this episode. If you haven't picked up on that, if you haven't seen it yet, um, so I don't know exactly how I would adjust that, but I, I need to figure out how to adjust it so that we're not launching every time I turn off the combine or, or turn off the thresher and then pick up the header, whichever one. Because technically it is equivalent, at least in game. And yeah, we only yeah only have three uh, oak fields, and then all that's left is corn and that one beet field. So harvest has gone a little bit fast. 
Obviously, yeah, we still we still do have a ways to go, but it feels like it is going fast anyways. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I want to... is he still selected? Yeah, let's send him home there to unload. Cool. Because he was sitting at 85%, and for whatever reason, he's having a little bit of issue doing what he's supposed to. I guess I need to hire a new worker then. Replace him. Fire this old guy that doesn't know what he's doing. Maybe it's just communication error. Maybe he misunderstood my orders or something. I don't know. I'm just getting old. Yeah, sometimes course play does have an issue during harvest if you're uh, if you have a grain cart, tractor and grain cart set up, and you are operating the combine. It'll it'll get messed up just a little bit occasionally. Not all the time, because I haven't had that problem until just now for this season of harvest. Oh well, though. Oh well. Oh man, it's just, just a little inconvenient, but um, at the same time, it could be worse. So, kind of lucky, I suppose. And I hope our straw output is high. I would like to have quite a bit of straw to work with. I would love it if we had extra straw. Oh, there we went launching. Crap. Did not want to do that. I've been doing fairly well with it, I think. And then I just didn't realize what I was doing there. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, I hope the uh, straw output is high so we can get some extra straw bales. Um, and then if it comes to the point where we need to sell some, then we will sell some. Because, yeah, I, I, hmm, jeez, what should I do? I should have waited before I decided what to do with 64, because if we end up not getting a lot of uh, straw bales out of this, that would suck, because 64 is going to chaff right now, so I should have waited to see what field 59 and 94 got us before I did 64. Oh well. Oh well. That'd be nice if there were purchase points for straw. Heck, as far as I know, there might be. But I don't think so. I'm pretty sure there was a, there might have been a map or two in 2013 where you could actually buy straw. I know on the Idaho map you could buy some. You could buy TMR, you could buy silage, you could buy... Uh, buy straw and grass and I think you could also buy manure and you could also sell all of that stuff at the same place as well I think whoops and there's kind of the curse for the high turning radius kind of overdid it there overcorrected Oh my gosh, that was horrific. If you see the transition from going outside to inside, you can see the you can see the dude's face for a second. Oh, it's even worse in the magnums. Cause this this one you only see like the dude's the back of the dude's head and his back, but in in the magnums you're like inside of his head, so you like see the eyes and the mouth and it is <laughs> it's horrific. It'll give me nightmares and we are full. Did not even realize that. Okay, so, uh, yeah, once I started going a million miles an hour, then I realized, that, oh, hey, we're full. Okay, where is that tractor at? Oh, is he? Oh, he's behind me, okay. He's already back, didn't realize that. Yeah, gonna be unloading at that crazy rate. 
I assure you it should not be going that fast. That is just insane. Mind you, it does make things go a little faster, so we're not waiting as long, but um, I would prefer something a little more realistic than that. Okay, I think this would be an alright place to call it for the episode. When we pick up, I think I might be bailing up our straw here. Um, but stay tuned so you'll find out. So, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to be updated on the latest, <laughs> excuse me, latest videos and any channel updates, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I do upload every day at noon Central Standard Time here in the U.S. Um, and if there's anything you want to say, just leave that in the comments, and uh, I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. So, once again, thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.